Good morning. I realise I put this a bit low. I'm like crouching. So I'm in a high chair. I'll sit backwards. Um, Merry Christmas. I'm still really high. Hi. Merry Christmas. Welcome to another Vlogmas video. If I sit like this, you can't see how bad my regrowth is. How exciting. Look how bad that is. Terrible. Today we are doing gingerbread making. So I have made a gingerbread house from scratch before. I used to do this all the time every year with um, my friends in Australia. So we used to have a gingerbread house making day and we'd all make a house. Um, obviously that hasn't happened in some time because I've been here for five years. So this is the first gingerbread house I've made in like four or five years because in London, in our flat, it was, um, the kitchen wasn't very big so we didn't have the space. Uh, and then I fell into a deep hole of depression. So, you know, this is a sign of growth, which is great. Because uh, when you make them from scratch, it's quite time consuming. Fun, super fun and I recommend it, but super time consuming. Um, so what I did, I made the, the, the gingerbread already. I made it Thursday night, today is Saturday. Um, I made it after work because I knew I wouldn't have time to do the whole thing today because I'm going out tonight because it's my birthday. So these are the cutouts um, I just made, just drew up, cut out. Um, as you can see some gingerbread left on it and then rolled it out and we made the gingerbread. So that's my gingerbread pieces. Um, I'm gonna stick them together. I am doing some new techniques this year that I haven't done before. This is, is quite different. My normal strategy is cover it in icing and lollies and, uh, not lollies, that's British, you're gonna be like, why are you sticking an ice block on it? Um, lolly, no, I still said lollies, sweets um, and like just candy um, to cover up for the horrific job you've done. But this year I've gone for more of a traditional European German um, uh, gingerbread house because I want it to be mostly icing. Now I went to Waitrose this morning uh, and I was had the complete intention of buying some pre-made royal icing because I didn't want to make my own because I was cutting corners. Uh, they didn't have that so I have to so I bought some piping stuff and I'm gonna pipe it myself and create my own, which hard, hard job. I was like, that was the one corner I was gonna cut on this thing. Um, and I bought some Skittles because I want some little bits of color in it, but not too much. So that, and also the different technique I'm doing this time is I'm going to use, normally I use icing to glue it together, but I saw a girl on TikTok who I've been obsessed with and that's what's inspired this whole thing. And she uses caramel, caramelized sugar. Um, so I'm going to attempt that. If Bake Off has taught me anything, it's that it's going to go wrong and it's going to burn. So we'll see. Um, but the other thing I'm doing this year differently, so many different things. Um, I'm going to decorate while it's all in pieces and then assemble it um, after I've decorated. So I'm not decorating against gravity basically. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, I'm going to stop recording for a minute um, and then make my icing and my bags and then I will check back in with you. See you in a minute. So I have a bowl full of icing sugar, um, things I couldn't find in the house. My hair looks crazy. Um, things I couldn't find, um, a whisk. <laughs> so I'm gonna be using a fork. So this is already off to a great start. I also couldn't find our sieve, which is also concerning. So this is gonna be interesting. So what I've done is you're meant to sift it so it's all fine. We don't have time for that today. This is a step I didn't even want to do, so. Um, I've just put it in a bowl and I'm just trying to run my fork through it as best I can. Um, is this doing anything? I don't know. Uh, but yeah. But I have opened the Skittles so I do have some snacks even though it is like 9am in the morning. What's your favourite colour? Mine is... Ooh, orange. The recipe I'm using doesn't give me measurements which is ridiculously unhelpful. Off to a flying start, as always. Like any video I've ever done cooking. It's definitely still chunky. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm not. Do you know what I mean? Pick your battles. It's not my battle. Issue is, it is actually quite clear. Thin that is, it's like dripping. I'm gonna pause this because I think the slamming of me going is gonna be a nightmare for you. So BRB, I'll, I'll figure this out and I'll get back. So I've been doing things and I don't love it. I think my consistency was way off because look how like thin and like streaky that looks. And it's also, I think I cut the hole too big. So I've remixed it and got it out of my piping bag because I think the hole's too big because I'm looking for fine lines and this looks awful. So I'm gonna try and wipe that off. That's fine. 
Windows, I think, are a lost cause if I'm being honest, but I have another side. This was my back half, so I was like, let's test on this first. And good thing I did, because absolutely not. We're gonna wipe that off. That's... Oh no, we will get it off. It's still fresh. I've redone it. Look how much better that looks. Okay, now we're cooking with gas. Ignore this window, disgusting. But look at that, perfect. Okay, I remixed it and we're back. We're in, we're in business. Just doing a little bit of a check-in because some time has passed. This was the first one with the uh, bad looking windows, but some things have developed. This is the front and there's my little door that I'll have like on the front as well. Um, and I've also done this side, which looks, <laughs> looks better on camera than in person. So I'm happy about that. Um, so up to the roofs and then the back, which I've left really blank and I don't know what I'm doing. So we will see what happens. But um, once we let this dry, then we can assemble. So I'm gonna do the roof because I don't really know what I'm doing for the back. So <laughs> roof it is. Um, let's do the back first. I always like to do the one that I think won't be on display because um, in case it all goes terribly wrong. Um, and also, will I have enough icing? Debatable. So how are we all feeling about Christmas? Getting in the Christmas spirit yet? It's, I think it's really more Christmassy this year, but obviously we all know last year was a, a great year for me. I feel like this is the first time in a while that I've felt good. Do you know how much of this I'm eating? There's no cross contamination because I'm literally the only person that's gonna be eating this. So, oh, and Daniel, but you will not care. <laughs> but yeah, so tell me, what's everyone up to? What's the 411? How janky will I make these? Sometimes this icing just doesn't want to stick down. I'm sure there's a technique I'm not using. So what's everyone doing? Tell me what your traditions are. For me, um, I have a lot of Christmas stuff planned, which a lot of it I'm gonna vlog for you guys, which is good. My parents are arriving on Monday, which is why I'm kind of panic making a gingerbread house, cause that's healthy. And off we go again. What do you guys do for Christmas? Are you, if you're in London, are you staying in London? Do you head to the countryside? Do you stay home? I like having Christmas in the UK because I don't have to leave my house. Whereas in Australia, I have to run around to everybody else's house, which is annoying. I always have a good time here. I get to dictate <laughs> my day, which is always nice. Um, if anyone's got kids, I think you're gonna win Christmas because Christmas is way better with kids. Cause then if I had children, if people said, oh my God, your gingerbread house looks like a shit. I could say, it's the kids just the kids, wasn't it? I honestly thought I could get a pen of royal icing and like, would just have to be like, doo -doo -doo -doo, the whole thing, it would be way easier. Cause this is coming out weird. I hope the icing sugar just like mixes it in. I'm looking at the one I'm trying to copy and I'm just like, how do people, how do they have the hand muscles to do this? Cause now maybe my icing sugar, I'm not gonna change it, but I suspect it might be too thick. I'll try a different approach. <laughs> I'm just like snacking on it thinking, this looks god awful. Do I just start again? Question. That's the good thing with royal icing is you can always just pull it off. <laughs> do I try and, oh, do we have a good technique going on the fourth row down? And it's a terrible day today. It is literally minus one and um, it's 12 o'clock. That is not on. We should at least have snow if we're gonna be this cold, you know? Give me a white Christmas. And by white Christmas, I'll take any, any semblance of snow for that. <laughs> Give me sleet. Give me anything. I'm gonna concentrate on this and hopefully I can make it better, but right now it's looking like this. Not taking as long as I thought though, but not looking as good as I thought, so. Okay, so I've finished all of the icing. Shocking. This was my back, uh, don't look too closely. And we've got all the pieces there ready to go. So I'm up to the next stage, which is the caramelization. Ooh, it's already happening. Is this too hot? <laughs> um, so this is, I'm melting the caramel. I have my cake tray here. I'm boiling water because I'm gonna make some eggs for me because I'm hungry. Should that be going brown? Already getting nervous. The woman in the video told me not to touch it. Do we think this is low enough in the heat? I'm not a cook. Okay, fingers crossed. <laughs> this is the start of every terrible like crisis on Bake Off. Okay, so I'm trying my best not to trash the house the day before my parents get here. Okay, so the lady said, Stop making eggs. Okay, oh my God, what am I doing? This was my rolling tin, because I didn't have one. <laughs> do I have a problem? So, let's do the one I care least about first. 
Well, it is gluing. <laughs> I may have glued it in the wrong place, but it's stuck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Your side looks bad. My side looks great. Okay, so I'm gonna be honest, I've had an absolute disaster trying to get that roof on by myself uh, in a kitchen that is 12 degrees because this, my, I'm using the caramel and it's just hardening and snapping off like immediately. Um, so like I have no time to line anything up properly. So I'm gonna wait and do this. I might even, could see that was gonna happen. Like I've even fucked up like all of my icing on the front cause trying to get it on. So I'm gonna, so yeah, like you can see I'm like messing everything up. Like barely looked good to start with, really doesn't look good now. So I'm uh, absolutely gonna just stop and see if I can get Daniel's help later cause um, I am not exaggerating when I tell you it is 12 degrees and nothing is sticking because it's immediately hardening the second I take it out of here. So, but nearly there. Um, yeah, gingerbread house loading, I guess. So it's actually the next day. Um, I finished where I left off with you um, and just basically said I can't do the gingerbread house by myself. Um, then I went out to see a theater show. I went and saw, um, Backstairs Billy, which was fun, interesting, good, good comedy if you're interested. It was just a fun night out. And we had sticks and sushi, which I should have filmed in hindsight because I loved it, but I didn't film it because I was like, oh, we're just going to be eating really fast and going to the theatre. Anyways, um, I finished the gingerbread house. I got Dana's help today, so I was going to show you what it looks like now. Um, I'm going to show you what I was trying to do first. I was going, this is the image I was going for, so this is the expectation. <laughs> and then we're going to go see reality in a minute. Expectation. Reality. <laughs> um, definitely more skew if. Don't look too closely at it if I'm... So I ended up not... It's all held together with pins, by the way, because the I tried to use this um, caramel, but it doesn't really harden. My finger's not focusing. But it's still kind of wet for some reason. Um, I also glued... This bit was not as good cooked. You can see it's like curved and I meant to swap the two end pieces and I forgot. So there was a big hole there that I've covered with icing. <laughs> but otherwise, and oh, and there's like, this ceiling would not have been approved if it was, uh, and council would not approve any of these uh, build works. So don't let me do any extensions at your house. But um, if you don't look too closely, I think it came out all right. Also, careful what you eat, because <laughs> it could be full of pins. But you can't see the pins like, like that's a pin. So I tried to go for like incognito, just a bit of extra structuralness, but so I haven't done the decorations yet, but that's um, pride and joy of our kitchen at the moment. So first festive decoration kind of. <laughs> that kind of shows you how big it is as well, like <laughs> massive. But yeah, also got the door on. So in terms of a gingerbread, I've never done windows before. I've never done a door before. So this is like groundbreaking. Um, also severely overestimated my ability to do like fine lines and make them look good. I was trying to make them like those cute um, German ones, but <laughs> absolutely not. Turns out you need to be like an actual baker to pull that stuff off. Maybe next year I'll just go back to covering them completely in candy so you can't tell any of the structural issues because that's normally my strategy. <laughs> I also managed to clean up my handy uh, rolling pin, a here Pim's bottle, to look really nice. So I was really worried it was going to look a bit, you know, messed up. It came through, so I could go back on the alcohol shelf up there. So um, I will be doing the decorations tomorrow because my parents arrive tomorrow. So um, this was just a little gingerbread making video in the meantime. Uh, could have been a lot longer if I included my breakdown. So remember to subscribe so you can make sure you can catch all of my vlogmas installments. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe. I'll see you next time.